The GIS program here in the Department of Geology and Geography uh, more or less started in the early 90s. The idea was to empower faculty with uh, geospatial uh, technology and capabilities in order to empower our students uh, in the field of geography. The faculty who teach GIS here in, in Geology and Geography uh, are well aware that uh, learning GIS is about doing GIS. And so uh, what we bring into the classroom are, are formative ideas that the students will engage in uh, for uh, interest in their own disciplines. Being that GIS is very interdisciplinary by nature, students and faculty will often engage in uh, local uh, as well as distant uh, uh, GIS oriented projects. By engaging in interdisciplinary and integrative activities, not only in the classroom but in the field, uh, you end up teaching more of a workflow, uh, more of a concept, the tools and the techniques behind the geospatial uh, sciences. And so they become invariably uh, the tools and the techniques and, and the workflow that students can engage with in the workplace, uh, regardless of their discipline. Uh, we utilize what the students are interested in, and we bring that back into the classroom. If you engage with students in what they're interested in, you're going to find they're going to learn much better. Uh, so it's not just a classroom full of geographers or a classroom full of geographers and geologists. Uh, it's a classroom of, of students from all over the College of Sciences and often outside of the College of Sciences. The students who come back and uh, we have students who send us maps and students who send us uh, you know, links to their websites and to their companies that are engaging in, in different geospatial studies and what have you. And when you hear about what they're doing and then you know that you had some role in, in uh, influencing them in terms of the tools and the techniques and, and whatnot that they've learned in your classroom, it's very rewarding.